Of course hii hapa ni Ayo TV karibu sana nikutakie heri ya mwaka mpya kwa mwaka 2019 and right now tunayo exclusive interview na mtu mmoja ambaye tutamfahamu zaidi ana vitu zaidi ya vitano and ana uwezo amebarikiwa kwenye vitu vingi vingi zaidi lakini pia ni mwanamuziki mpya ambaye amekuja kwenye game ya Bongo Flava tutapata kusikia kuhusiana na mziki wake lakini pia story yake na mambo mengine mengi ikiwa ni exclusive brother mambo vipi mambo mazuri kabisa bro uko vizuri niko sawa kwa majina unafahamika kama nani mimi naitwa Danzac okay yeah Danzac ni jina la kisanii ni jina lako halisi ile jina la kisanii halisi Hamdan Zakwani Hamdan yeah wewe ni kwa Tanzania ni asili ya wapi ah mimi mzaliwa na mkuli ya Tanga Tanga yeah safi kwa kikabila tunakuhitaji ah uh, uh, wazoka sema mdigo fulani hivi mm. Yeah yeah nimekini mechanganya kidogo. Sifa ya wewe kuwa msanii ama kipaji chako cha usanii ndo kimekutukutanisha mimi na wewe. Kuna kitu kingine ambacho unafahamika nacho professional. Ah uh, yeah ni rubani. Okay. Yeah yeah. Rubani, rubani kwa muda gani? Na tangu nimeanza rubani mwaka wa 9 sasa yeah. Mwaka wa 9. Yeah yeah. Naendesha ndege za ndani tu kwa ndani ama ndi nje? Ah uh, nje naendesha ndege za nje na ndege na fly Boeing 787 naitwa mm. vile vile na itwa Dreamliner. Yeah. Safi sana ongera bana. Asante sana. Tupatie background yako kidogo ikoje kwenye masuala ya urubani mpaka kuja kwenye masuala ya muziki. Uh, kabla ya urubani ulianza muziki kwanza. Uh, tangu officially 2002 between 2002 na 2006 nilikuwa nikifanya muziki. Uh, 2006 ndio nilipo release uh, official solo track. Ilikuwa inaitwa Nafisa. Nafisa to record G Records ilikuwa chini ya uongozi wa Guru wakati ule. Uh, Nafisa ilifanya vizuri sana and is uh, before social media na network so on the radio zilifanya vizuri sana but after that nika toka kwenye muziki nikaenda Oman ambapo nilisettle professionally nika niko kwenye mambo ya mambo ya uh, career then banking back in ikifika 2009 nikajikuta kwamba ndio uh, damu inachemka kidogo kwa jinsi this kazi za kwa ofisini zinanishinda nikabidi nijitafutie njia kuweza kujiwezesha kupitia mikopo kupitia misaada nikaenda nikasomea urubani uh, Australia mwaka 2009 uh, baada ya pale wakati niko nasomea urubani nikajikuta na nafasi nzuri muda mzuri wa kufanya kazi za muziki tena kwa nikanunua vifaa vidogo nikatengeneza ka studio kadogo chumbani kwa na record nyimbo na ndio social media imeanza wakati ule facebook uh, ndio inaanza ku kuwa, kuwa very common in these regions middle east and africa kadu na release uh, nyimbo kwenye internet na sukuma kwenye uh, social media platforms ambazo naweza kusema kwa tunatumia ni kama myspace wakati ule um, kik bila kabla ya whatsapp na emails messenger hey, tukajikuta within a very short time to me, we were back in the music and we blew again lakini 2010 liko discouraged sababu nilipata opportunity mimi ya kuwa signed na Econ mm-hmm. um, on convict music na Econ live music wakati ule kwa kuna platform inaitwa hitlab.com mm-hmm. ambayo ilikuwa inatafuta wasanii um, na ilikuwa out of 30,000 artists wako kwenye ile website mimi nishika namba moja kwa kipindi kama cha wiki tisa wow. kwa nikapata opportunity ya kutana management ya Hitlab uh, Dubai tukakaa tuka discuss opportunities yana za kunisign tuweza kusukuma muziki mwele lakini katokea kuna uh, obstacles fulani nikashindikana mimi kuweza kusafiri mm. mwezi wa 8 mwaka 2010 kwenda Canada kufanya ile kazi um, kwa hiyo progress uh, ile kitu haikuendelea tena kwa ni discourage kidogo tupo nikasema let me focus wanasema Uh, uja uja, uja master vitu viwili umefishika kwa pamoja kimoja litakuponyoka katulia nikarudi kwenye mambo ya aviation kajaribu tena kufight kupata kazi ya urubani um, ndio nilipo focus mpaka mwaka 2018 kajikuta niko nimepata tena nafasi kwa nimesha kuwa na experience nzuri nimesha settle nile kazi yangu na ikanirudia ile feeling kwamba i still have the passion for music na bado najiona niko kwenye na nafasi nzuri ya kurudia kwenye music sababu watu ambao tumefanya nao kazi wengi bado wako kwenye music kwa huku East Africa na kwa internationally muziki unafika unafika mbali siku hizi very easily kwa kazi kiwa nzuri channels za kusukuma muziki ziko nyingi so we sat down we discussed kasema bwana listen let's let's find a way to get back into this the team to decide we get into it but this time it's an investment yes it's still a passion tunapenda tunafanya sababu we have the love for music lakini mainly it is an investment and uh, to focus on doing multiple projects locally and internationally and tukajikuta tumesha fikia when step about tunaweza ku release projects tulianza tusema tufanye projects tano tukajikuta within maybe 3 to 6 months tumesha fikia project 30 but guys let's start the releases 
ni mdu wa kuwekeza ndiyo lakini tuanza kupush, push push as a project moja baada moja out and ndiyo tukasukuma project zetu starting from uh, December 2018 sawa kabla tujarudi hapo umemtaja Econ ulikuwa usainiwe chini yake umetaja issue za za, za za kazi yako zili ulijaribu kutafuta namna nyingine labda ya kurudi uone kama utapata ile nafasi tena kusainiwa na Econ baada ya mwaka ule ile platform pia haikuwa na nguvu tena kwa hiyo nikawa ile opportunity ni ngumu sana kurudi Um, so siku si ni stop na kama alikwambia ni discourage sana kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa sina nguvu tena kupush na muziki iliweze kupush iweze kufika mbali it is it requires an investment kwa nguvu ambayo alikuwa sina wakati ule kwa nikasema sio majaliwa will come back to this let's put it on the side yeah sawa ulianza muziki ukaenda rubani unatoka rubani uko rubani lakini pia ukaamua urudi kwenye muziki yeah. ni, ni kipi unakosa kwenye rubani mpaka kinakurudisha kwenye muziki Hakuna kibacho nakosa lakini vitu vile tofauti. Unajua una, unapokuwa una fly. Unapokuwa una take off ndege unapofika wakati una rotate na unapovuta controls ndege inainuka. Ile feeling unayopata it never gets old. Kila take off feels the same. Unapokuwa una land, kila landing feels the same. Unapokuwa kule juu vile imetulia very serene, kwa quiet, uh, ukitazama kazi ya Mungu unaona okay. That feeling never gets old. Na vile vile unapokuwa msanii unapokuwa uko studio mvaa headphones zako na record, ile feeling haichuji. Unapokuwa msanii hapo una umeona project yako imetoka, people are accepting your projects, ile feeling haichuji. Unapokuwa wewe unapanda stage ile ule moment ambao labda MC anakuwa introduce uh, flani na pana ni stage safe ile fikisha jina lako and then the fans are shouting and you're coming out, ile adrenaline ile haichuji. Kwa hiyo these two things they they both amazing. Kwa sio kusema nimekosa kitu kule nikaja huko hapana ndio maana nafanya vitu kwa pamoja. Kitaaluma vipi? Kazi yako ya kuzui kufanya muziki at the same time una kwa sababu unaweza kupata mizuko wakati unaendesha ndege uka kaimba kwa jisahau. Ah no, no you have, you have uh, it's a it's a balanced career. Unapokuwa kwenye ile strict career unapokuwa on a professional level una, una focus na una strict rules procedures of course safety ndio kitu namba moja. Kwa hiyo kazi yako unaifanya kwa umakini na unapokuwa uko umeshatoa ile uniform umeshakuvua tie ni pale unavaa ile personality ya Danzac sasa nimeingia studio nimesha head, piga headphones zangu twende tu record okay twende kapande kafanye show twende kafanye video inakuwa ile vitu vile mwezi kuvichanganya so nashukuru mpaka sasa nimeweza ku, ku, kupata njia ambazo zinaniruhusu kufanya vitu vile bila kuvimix kabisa ya unatumikia kwa huko kwenye shirika la ndani nchi ya manje nchi wa anje 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 niko Oman lakini like, siwezi kutaja shirika but niko Oman hawa mind wao kuona unafanya muziki I don't think so. I believe uh, when you vitu kama hivi inabidi inabidi watu wao wana support yana. So end of the day inaweza ikawa as, uh, as an advantage hata kwa shirika ambalo nafanya kazi endapo when you succeed in the in the ways that I'm trying to kwa ile vision ambayo niko nayo. Inaweza ikawa kawa jikaja kuwa vizuri kwa Ella inaweza kawa easily brand ambassador. Wezi jua labda kesho kushukuru bwana napigiwa simu na mheshimiwa rais ambaye njoo ito na dream line hapa hapa. Njoo piga trip zako. Uh, you never know. So it, 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 it can always be a mutual mutually beneficial yeah sawa tuje kwenye masuala ya income mtu anaamini ukifanya kazi kama yako unaingiza fedha nzuri lakini pia opportunities zinakuwa nyingi yani kwa sababu unasafiri nchi nyingi unakutana watu wengi hivyo kwako issue za kimshahara uone kwamba unapokea mshahara mzuri kiasi kwamba wenye kuimba utaanza kutafuta sana utainvest sana mpaka uje upate ikachukua muda um, i agree with you na kwa kwa system ambazo ziko sasa hivi income ya muziki kidogo hai hai hashtui lakini ni kwa sababu ya vile 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 platform ambazo tunazikosa hapa kwetu sisi lakini ukitazama kama wa Nigeria kama kama David mwaka jana nyimbo zake mbili zime cross 10 million sales digitally 10 million sales we're talking about one dollar a song so you can easily make a lot of money by having your projects steer to the right direction lakini bado kidogo tutafikia kule so we hope kwamba tukiwa tunarudi nyinyi muziki na hizi investment tunafanya tunaweza tuka tuanze kubadilisha mambo tukajenga zile platform ambazo zinaweza kawa zikawawezesha wasanii wakapata ile income so muziki na income nzuri sana if vitu vile vinaenda kwenye kwenye mstari kama wenzetu wanavyofanya so i believe uh, with time tunaweza tukabadilisha and that is the whole aim tuweze kujenga hizo platform tuweze kusaidia community our future generations ili tuweze kuinua tena bongo flavor on that international level kwa sababu na hizi kwa hichi kipindi cha katikati wenzetu on western africa side wa come accelerate sana and maybe it's time we pick up the pace i, I believe um, i believe to navi i believe to nazo talent resources it's just a matter of putting love putting all the efforts in and to skume gurudum pamoja sawa unaweza kushare na sisi labda kama mshahara kakuli kanacheza kama ngapi hata kama sio exactly kwamba utalipwa shilingi ngapi lakini tujaribu kuona tukambui analipwa zaidi ya kiasi fulani lakini ameamua kufanya muziki ambao bado umuingizia hata 10 um na sole la sole la sole mshahara kidogo Uh, ni personal ni private lakini naweza kuambia inalipa inalipa inazidi milioni 
Aya aya. Inazidi milioni 5 kwa mwezi. Yes, inazidi. Na malopolopo posho ni nyingi. <laughs> uh, yeah that's true lakini um, siwezi kwa mwazi lakini inaweza kumpia kama unaposema mtu anaweza kushangaa kwa nini unafanya hivi ili kama yake ni nzuri ni kama inaweza kuondesha maisha yako kaishi maisha mazuri lakini it's not just about the money tuna fanya music because we want to give back to the community tunataka tuwezeshe vijana ambao wana talent but mimi nimefanya muziki tangu 2002 uh, najua wasanii wengi sana baina ya 2002 mpaka 2006 nilivoondoka mimi kunye bongo flavor ambao hafanyi tena mziki. Kwa hiyo ina ni ambao wamekua wakachuja wakaendelea yeah. wengi. Ambao wamepotea kuna ambao wamebaki kuna ambao tuko nao tena. Kwa hiyo it has it has been a long long time since since then lakini nia hasa ni kuweza kufanya music tuweze ku establish a brand to push projects out there on on different levels ili tuweze kuwafanya watu wa believe kama vitu vinawezekana vinaweza vikafanyika na tupate ku zile talents to join tuweze kusukuma team pamoja. Sawa hapo mengi tutaweza kuzungumza next time tutaongea kwa sababu una mengi. Hebu tuambie. Sasa hivi una project ngapi ushazitoa? Zinapatikanaje? Mtu akiamua kukusupport wewe na kusupport vipi? Ah uh, project uh, tume release uh, Fallen. Fallen to release uh, first of uh, December. December moja alifanya audio Chris Beats uh, Nigeria. Na uh, video akafanya Justin Campos. So ikawa project ya kwanza mziki tofauti na bilingual kwa hiyo ni kizungu na Kiswahili ile project kwa zaidi kizungu ili tuweze kujaribu kupenetrate international market na imefanya vizuri international especially Nigeria track imefanya vizuri it's playing on major tv stations major radios and then uh, within the same month december tuka release uh, nyimbo ya pili tarehe 31 december mwezi wa kichaa pre project imefanyika hapa hapa kwetu from scratch till the end the, all the talents all the brains into this project ni hapa hapa nyumbani kwa hiyo tume release kichaa ndani ya mwezi mmoja kichaa tume push uh, out there before uh, new year's eve na sasa ndio imeanza kutembea watu maliza likizo so the, music, the song is spreading out there i hope watu wataipokea wataikubali na watarudi support yao if they go on youtube it's a danzak kicha d a n z a k or danzak fallen um, otherwise social media platforms zote tupo tunapatikana and it's just danzak which is d a n z a k instagram twitter facebook and youtube anything to share na watu wako time hapo na kutazama kupitia io tv kuhusiana na wewe na mziki wako Ah guys we are not here to try atakuja kujaribu tumekuja hapa kufanya kazi hapa kazi tu we are very serious projects ziko nyingi sana i can promise you that it won't be long before you hear the next project collabs locally internationally major projects are coming we need your love give us your support ili tuweze kusukuma umziki pamoja tutafika yeah thank you thank you very much